So today we're going to look at boundaries and why we need boundaries. But before we start, I want everyone to get a pen and paper. Let's look at why we need boundaries. Now, we are not machines. Machines are built to work 24 seven. We are not. It's crucial to take time out for ourselves and for exercise, for me time and downtime and your family time. Personal boundaries are important because they set the basic guidelines of how you want to be treated. Boundaries are basic guidelines that people create to establish how others are able to behave around them. Setting boundaries can ensure that relationships can be mutually respected, appropriate and caring. But this creates a healthy, sound mind. We need to set ourselves boundaries and we also need to respect those boundaries because that will make sure we keep them. We also need to respect other people's boundaries too. So first of all, I want everyone to think about why you do what you do. Now, whether that's work, personal life, whatever it is, whether you're employed, self-employed. Now, I mainly work with beauty therapists that are self-employed, but in the world that we live in these days, we're all 100 miles an hour, whatever it is that we're doing. We need to know what makes us tick and why. Why do we do what we do? And by this, I mean you need to know your why. Not my why, not your friend's why. Why do you do what you do? By knowing your why, this will help you keep your boundaries and honour them. I want you to just take a few minutes to think about your why. Why do you slog your guts out daily? Is it for, you know, family? Is it for freedom? Is it for financial success, security? Whatever it is, write down five things. I've given a few examples of my whys. Family really important to me. That's why I do a lot of what I do. I want to have more time, security, mental freedom. I want to retire early, financial freedom, to be successful, to leave a legacy, to feel loved and have an impact on people's lives. Think about it, what works for you, what makes you tick. It doesn't have to be anything that I've put. That's my things. That's just an example of what your why could be. Think about things that are important to you. So the reason for this is everything we do, whether personal or business, needs to align with your why. So you can have many things, but possibly three of those whys will stand out more than any other. This will help you keep your boundaries and honour them. So once, if you get offered an opportunity, for example, and it doesn't align with your why, say you get offered an opportunity to go and work, um, say you live in the UK and you get offered to go and work in Dubai, this might be seen as an amazing opportunity. But if your why is, you know, you your kids and you want to put them to bed every night, working away from home does not align with your whys. Even though it's an amazing opportunity, look and think, is this right for me? So, I mean, that's an extreme case. But for me, being self-employed, for example, there are many times I knew my husband was cooking dinner and then a client turned up late, which meant I'd finish late or I'd squash somebody in, thinking, it's okay, he'll understand. Now, whether he understands or not, is that fair? Did that really align with my whys? If family is at the top of my list, is that really aligning with my whys? Or did I put work first? Now, I get that because, you know, we're self-employed, you feel that you've got to put clients and everything first. But by doing that, what I did was I didn't respect my boundaries neither did my client. It's not mean, they're not being horrible. I'm not being horrible. They've turned up late, so they've disrespected your boundaries. It's not, they haven't done it on purpose, and that's the thing that we have to bear in mind. It's never on purpose and nothing's personal, but we have to respect our boundaries because otherwise other people won't. So I'm sure we've all done this. It's business, we have to. We really, really don't. One thing I've learned is the more I respect my boundaries, the more others will. Now, my family is a massive why, and I was jeopardising my why. So, my advice to you is don't jeopardise your why. Become focused on your why, and then other people will know. But if you skipped the what are my whys bit, if this makes a little bit more sense to you now, then flip back, and hopefully you can see the importance of it. 
and go back to it and write down some of your whys. Let's take a look at where you can set some boundaries. Time is always a good one. Now, time is so important. You know, we need to be recharged and it's difficult to set aside our time because you feel guilty there's so many things but you know we need to be recharged especially if you're a salon owner or just feeling under pressure with everything it can become exhausting for example things that you could put in place to manage your time better get a planner for your week and plan your week set out those appointments and habits with yourself by appointments i don't mean with clients i mean with yourself put yourself in your diary make sure you are in there you are a priority and you need to have that self-care it's not about necessarily looking good it's about your mental health for example i always set time aside in the morning for exercise now whether that's a run a stretch whatever it is i try and listen to my body and my mind my head is always spinning with ideas it's always on the go I never stop that's my personality now I'm not wrong for that no one's saying anybody's wrong but we still need to take a little bit of time to one side assess things and acknowledge how you know what is our makeup how do we behave it's not wrong we just need to put things in place to manage ourselves so for me I need to de-stress and I need some time out and this is why exercise is so important to me obviously it'd be nice to lose a few pounds as well but it's more about feeling my best and for me running really helps that for example this morning I did a Tybo routine you know there's a lot of punching involved in that I'm not an aggressive person but I really felt it kind of you know did what I needed it to do this morning just listen to your body I feel amazing when I've done this and it really sets me up for the day find how it works for you if morning's not your best time that doesn't matter it doesn't mean you haven't got a morning routine so things are not working just set time aside in your diary that works for you 11 o'clock's your best time and you can somehow get out of work or your work shifts and that is your time to go and do your routine for example to set your mind up then that's fine so just think about what it is for you what are the things weekly that you will not put to one side you know, no matter what, that is your time. So get clear on your boundaries. For example, I love holidays. This means a lot to me. And these should be in your planner too. So if you don't plan them, we'll allow clients to book in. I've done it myself before where I've not planned a holiday. And then I'm trying to find one to fit in between what days I've got free. And it's difficult. You are important. Manage that time. Set boundaries around your time. So when you say boundaries, it doesn't have to be mean. It's just scheduling time in for you, for example. So I hope that makes sense. Something else, social media. Do we really need to set boundaries on social media or for ourselves with social media? How many times have you found yourself just flicking through your phone? Has your husband or partner ever said to you, what are you doing? And you literally like, uh, be use social media a lot for work you think you're always working or you're researching um, or you're just doing this and as Andy my husband says there's always something and it's true so he's very good at helping me with my boundaries we can all become consumed by social media and I don't know about you but I lose my own creative flair because I'm consumed by what everybody else is doing what's going on in the outside world which we're not really that interested in you know it's a lot of what you've had for tea which is fine we don't need to know right there and then so if you want to schedule some social media time in schedule it in just respect your own boundaries a fitness owner of any kind you know especially beauty and hair you need to be on the ball and full of ideas so get that creative flair going take some time away from your phone away from i'm just saying social media but it's your phone sometimes as well so just take some time away from your phone we all have a choice to make we have to decide to do one thing and not to do another set those boundaries in in place Make sure that you look after yourself. And then work is a big one. How much time do you spend at work? And then when you're not at work, how much time are you working? Answering your phone again. This phone plays a big part. Set your boundaries on when people can contact you. I know you don't need me to tell you this, but are you strict with your timings or do you just think, well, I'll just reply to this one because it's on my mind now. Just don't look, you know, get a separate phone. What things can you put in place to not allow people to consume your time? Those who know me know I always go about a morning routine. Don't pick up your phone until you've had some time for you. That's one of my big things because before you know it, people have consumed your time. So that little bit of exercise time could be gone. So don't allow people to creep in. Another big is staff you've got staff do they feel does it often feel like they're ruling the roost i know it does with me sometimes and you have to put your boundaries in place with staff as well 
You're not being mean by having a boundary. It is just so important. I want you to think of three now. They could be on your list that you've already done. They could be something completely different. Or you could just look at the examples I've given. Write down three areas that you are specifically going to look at and then work on your boundaries in those areas and how you're going to make sure that you don't budge. I want you to think a little bit deeper on what things could you put in place in order to keep those boundaries set. What do you do now or allow others to do that you are going to start from now. I've done a quick example, the one I spoke about earlier. One of my boundaries is, you know, family. What did I do that jeopardised the family? I put work before my husband, so I want to put my husband and family as a priority before work. Now my new boundary. And what do I currently allow to happen? I allow clients to dictate to me because I fear upsetting them or losing them. For example, they are late and now I have to stay late. We work long enough hours, so that's a little bit unfair. So how are we going to make that change? I will tell the client, no, I only have half an hour and we will do what we can in half an hour and need to rebook the, their appointment for the rest of it. Now, you don't have to be mean when you say this, but you do have a finished time and we do have to stick to that. Just because we're self-employed, we shouldn't work all hours, God sends. Or if you're a high career powered person, you don't have to let it dictate your life. We need to learn to say no. Warren Buffett says, really successful people say no to everything. Just take that statement with you. Really successful people say no to everything. So if you say no, you can always come back to something. But just say no until you've had a thought, because otherwise you are on the spot. I used to be that person that said yes to everything. Now, you'll hear me in another setup saying say yes to everything. By that, I mean opportunities. When it's somebody trying to get your time and get in on your time, remember your boundaries. Remember your why. If staying late at work does not align with your why, then don't do it. I like to go to bed early. That's my time, and I don't want anyone to jeopardise that. And I find myself getting angry if somebody encroaches on my time and I've allowed it to happen. And then what does that do? It has an impact on my home life. It has an impact on me mentally. I've now become stressed all because I let somebody dictate to me and I didn't respect my own boundary. Respect other people's boundaries and they will respect yours. But as well, respect your own boundaries and other people will respect them too. So thank you so much for listening. Please join my Creating Salon Success Facebook group if you haven't already called Creating Salon Success. I hope I've left you feeling inspired and if you want to find out any more, I do have a membership site, louisaashworth.co.uk. On there, you can do so many workshops a little bit like this one. Thanks for listening.